Hello, I'm Mary Shull, and I have Neva Valley Apiary, which some people call a bee yard. And um, I'm doing my session on honeybees. And I grew up with my dad having honeybees, mostly for um, pollination purposes. And when he passed away, the bees hadn't been worked for a couple years, and I decided I was going to take them over. So I took a couple classes. And um, I went from his two or three hives to several hives. So that's how I got started in beekeeping. This is a, uh, what they call a bee colony, and the bottom section is a hive body. Some people have one, and some people have two hive bodies. And um, I have a hive body and a, a super, because it's easier for me to handle it. They get really heavy when they're full of honey and, and bees and everything. This is where the bees live. This is where the queen lays her eggs and where she is the first two sections and this other one is a super that the bees make honey in I want to take the lid off and as you can see we got some bees here on top I have a screened in a screened inner cover during this time of year for ventilation Take this off real easy. As you can see, we got plenty of bees in there. They got this is uh, what's known in the beekeeper's world as a hive tool, but I prefer a good old-fashioned screwdriver. Makes it easier to get out. Um, we'll give these bees just a little bit of smoke. And we're going to loosen up a frame and we'll see what we've got in it here. Right now the goldenrod is blooming, so everything's going to look kind of yellow from the color of it. Now, all this is right here. This is capped brood. That is, um, they will be hatching soon. A queen bee. In the spring and, and summer, whenever a lot of honey is honey flow is going on, the um, queen will lay around 2,000 eggs a day. Um, there's plenty more of the um, the brood on this side. There's eggs way down in there on these. It's not capped and everything. They are just like little tiny. Um, specs whenever they're first laid.
when the bees gather the uh, the honey in the fall of the year to save for their um, their winter stores for them to eat during the winter time, they will um, gather in the top of the box in what they call a cluster. It's just a big ball of bees, and they keep the hive about 90 degrees, and they do that with the flapping of their wings. And on warm days, they will fly out and go on what they call a cleansing flight. They'll um, clean out the hive from any bees that have died or anything like that during the, the cold spells, and then they will go right back in. They don't stay out but just a few minutes for their cleansing flight. Another frame out, see what we've got in it. And as you can see here, we've got honey. If you zoom right into the cells, you can see the liquid in there. That's The bees are busy filling that full and they will um, get the moisture content down to the level that they need and then they will cap it. Now, the bees that make the honey are female. They're called worker bees. The males are called drones. This. Uh, Stubby bee right here with great big eyes, that's a boy. That's called a drone. This one right here is a drone. The drones don't sting, but the females that make the honey, they do sting. Here's a, another side of it. They don't, they're just now getting uh, started making honey on this side. This is called beeswax. They make that, and the perfect little shapes and everything, they're all the same. And that is where they store their honey.